No playing around tonight, guys. Let's get to this. Okay, a couple of housekeeping notes. Uh, I will be in Texas next week, so probably no comics and beer unless I do something from the road. We'll see. And I think I mostly have gotten rid of the annoying light flickering from the fluorescent lights by uh, changing cameras. Uh, now that I've mentioned it, it'll probably start flickering like crazy. But uh, in my tests, I mostly have remedied it. I have remedied it. <laughs> okay, uh, so the, the can art this week is pretty amazing. It's this stone stout uh, by Stone Brewing Company. Uh, it's called Woot. Um, I'm not crazy about the name. I'm not crazy about stouts, but uh, I'm doing this one all for the can art. <clears throat> Like I said, it's from Stone Brewing Company, which uh, coincidentally did that Enter Night um, beer that I tried last week. And they are out of California and Richmond, Virginia. The ABV on this is crazy. Uh, it's 11.5% ABV. That's a lot. A lot for me anyways. But uh, here we go. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's incredibly rich, incredibly flavorful. Um, what does the can say? Uh, over the years, Stone Farking Wheaton Woot Stout have become one of our most anticipated annual releases. Okay, annual releases, Stone Brewing. Um, can I get some description? Alan Davis, who did the can art, he's worked on Uncanny X Men and Justice League. Um, Okay, it's brewed with pecans, wheat, and rye. Do I taste all that? Pecans, wheat, and rye. Yeah. Definitely tastes the pecans. And like I said, it is an incredibly rich uh, beer. Okay, so uh, get to the books. Start off with one that um, is a couple of weeks old. Is it two weeks old? But uh, I just got it. Batman Superman 5. Uh, I like this title. It's nothing incredible. But if you enjoyed uh, the Batman Who Laughs series, uh, it's a nice continuation. And this I found in a shop near my house. Um... It's Walking Dead the Alien by uh, B.K. Vaughn. This was that online-only um, story that they eventually started publishing. I hadn't been able to find it anywhere, but, uh, well, I found it this week. And uh, I'm stoked to check it out. And I think this is an underrated title. Uh, I, I just don't think this has a high, that high of a print run. Uh, I know Walking Dead isn't what it once was as far as uh, spec and all that, but The Alien. I'm checking it out, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. Yes. And this is another one that's uh, a couple of weeks old. Uh, the Eternals. Uh, are they calling us true believers? No, but it's uh, a facsimile. And... Uh, well, I've always loved this cover. I read this original series. Uh, I had this in omnibus format. Uh, I have a couple of single issues. I'm a huge Jack Kirby fan. Uh, I do have concerns about the movie. I know Marvel will be pushing the hell out of this and uh, hoping for a good flick. But um, let's just say this was more about the characters and art than the story but uh we'll see they're gonna you know i'm sure they're gonna reinvent this like they did guardians of the galaxy and uh i love this cover so
Now we're getting into current releases. This 20XX. I've been on some live streams where I raved about this. Um, the guy, Jonathan Luna, is just a fantastic story writer. Um, he did that Alex and Ada book about uh, a man and an android uh, and their love together. But um, I'm oversimplifying this, but this is about a girl who, who uh, contracts a virus that's supposed to kill her. It doesn't, um, and she gains superpowers, and then she is trying to find other folks like her. Again, I, this my, my synopsis is not doing it justice. This was fantastic. Um, probably going to be the first thing I read. Another Hulk sketch cover. Now these made my best of 2019 release. I really love these. I really do. Uh, I think there have been about a dozen of them now. So, but I'm probably I'm gonna keep buying them. I I like these better than the regular covers. Nah. Magnificent Miss Marvel. I bought this to sell. And surprisingly, there aren't that many copies on eBay. Uh, I think I checked around three or four, and there were about a dozen of them. Um, so, hopefully, hopefully I can sell this, y'all. We'll see. Um, X Force. Um, I dig this. I've talked about this uh, more than once. So, this is a title I like. Um, it's the only one I'm buying. I'm not buying Marauders. I'm not buying X-Men. Um, Benjamin Percy, who's got a last name similar to mine, but not quite. <laughs> uh, doing a great job. Been digging this. And here's another Immortal Hulk cover, uh, or cover book. Um, digging this. Maybe a lot. Maybe I maybe I lie and I'll be reading this one first, huh? I don't know. So not a huge week for me, pickup wise. Uh, previews came out last week. I wasn't that blown away by what was in previews, but I think this is pretty cool. Uh, the Grumble Book. I am a, uh, I'm a wrestling mark and a mark for wrestling tropes and comic books. And did you guys read Grumble? Grumble was really good. And uh, I've said before, I think most uh, Albatross funny book stuff is worth your time. So, um, yeah, that's it. Kind of a short week. Um, so, probably won't see you next week. But hopefully the week after that. So. And cheers.